Hey, this is Ron, and I'm here with Yaroslav. Yaroslav. And Yaroslav, I wanted to talk to you about record retention policies mm -hmm. in SharePoint 2010 right. and what you can accomplish nowadays. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. So um, I thought I'd start with just a basic uh, intro example. Yeah. Uh, prior to working here, I used to work at a, a chartered accountancy firm. And when I articled with them, uh, one of the things that we would do for record retention policy mm -hmm. is uh, we would go into the file room, mm -hmm. and if we were going to start a project that year, mm -hmm. we would take the last year's files mm -hmm. yeah. and check them out right. and put them on the desk of uh, an administrator right. who would take them downstairs and put them in storage. We would create new files for right. this year right. and check them in to the file room. Okay. So the files were in the file room, blank, ready for this year's project. Right. Then you could check the files out, work on the files, and check them back in. Okay. Until the next year, okay. when at the start of next year's project, you would get rid of the old files, right. give them to the admin clerk, right. they would put them downstairs in our storage locker, right. and we kept seven years worth uh, for tax purposes, right. seven years worth of the client's files right. downstairs in the storage room. Okay. And then after seven years, uh, I think they had a regular basis, they would go down once a year okay. and take the stuff older than seven years. And I don't know if they shredded it or if they moved it to an off-site storage, um, but that's that was our record retention policy and keeping stuff mm -hmm. in the office. So how would I accomplish that? With SharePoint 2010 now, Let, let's say for Logical example, question, right? okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's say for example, I had a site. Let's say you have a site, yeah. Okay, and I have all my project files in there. So this is your document when you check out files, edit them, right? right. So this is your intranet, sort of. Okay. Yeah. And all the files are electronic. You have some navigation there, some subsites. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you're working on all of those files, and then let's say seven years have passed, you, you haven't worked on those files for, for a long time, right. seven years have passed, the, uh, the uh, metadata on the date is being kept for all of the records in SharePoint or right. all of the files in SharePoint. Right. And uh, what you could do, you can enable, or your administrator on the site can enable uh, records, um, can enable the, uh, the policy, uh, the information management policy to monitor the date. Yes. And then automatically the things that are, let's say, 2003 here, or 2004, I guess, right? right. Or 2011, mm -hmm. uh, move it all to the record center. So here's your le record center, which is your virtual file room. Right? Downstairs, in the basement. Downstairs, exactly. So, so my intranet is like my old file room that I had upstairs yeah. that we yeah. worked on our current files. Yeah. And a record center is kind of like the storage locker yeah. that we've got downstairs where when we're done with stuff. Absolutely. Now, now one of the things we were talking about before that you got me interested in was... I'm in SharePoint mm -hmm. and I've got a document library. Mm -hmm. I can put a meta tag on a file. Yes. So, so I add a doc or an Excel file yeah. or a PowerPoint file. And I can have a drop down here where I can say, okay, it's final, move yeah. to storage. Yeah. And when this changes, mm -hmm. you can kick off a workflow yeah. to move that it. would then move it to the record center. Absolutely. So you can move this file to the record center, but that's not it. Uh, one of the things that you mentioned the metadata, right? So you yeah. have the name of the document, and you have a status so far. Right. If you have more metadata than just status, what you could do, you could file it in the Record Center. Yes. And then Record Center now in 2010 has a content organizer feature okay. that allows you to create the navigation here based on the metadata of your records. Oh, okay. So that so way, if you have a status, it'll easily sort. It'll easily yeah. sort and file it for me in the Record Center. Absolutely. So you can pull it up by uh, status, which is let's say. Not started final, so you're going to have a little hierarchy here. So let's say this says status, and then you have sub hierarchy. So, so I can take my file yeah. that I've got on my intranet. Yeah. I can change the status of it to say it's final. Yeah. We're done with it. Mm -hmm. The workflow can kick off, mm -hmm. move it to the record center, mm -hmm. automatically file it for me, essentially yeah. in my storage unit downstairs. Yeah. And it'll also lock it, won't it? So yeah. other users can't touch it anymore. Absolutely. That's right. And okay. it's, it's not like you lost it. Uh, in 2010, it'll, you can choose to leave a link here. Uh, so you can, you can always click on it and then it'll automatically take you to the record center. Or then, users could just go to the record exactly, center. Exactly, if yeah. they want to, sorry. And yeah. navigate here. And then if you're worried about you know, auditing features or auditing on who accessed what records and etc., right. you could do that too. On, there's an auditing feature in, in SharePoint 2010 allowing you to pull yeah. up reports saying who accessed this document at what oh, time. Okay, okay. Like that. okay. Yeah. okay. Well,
Wow, so everything we could do. Yeah, and more. <laughs> and more. <laughs> check in, check out, yeah. move it to a record center, store yeah. it, lock it down. Uh, you can now do it in SharePoint 2010. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Okay, well, it's brief. I've been away for a couple of weeks, so I'm coming back to, back. to doing videos again. Yeah. Yeah. So SharePoint 2010, record retention policy. Uh, it looks like I could accomplish everything I could before with the old file room. Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, Yaroslav, where can people find you on the web? So my blog, uh, sharemarks.com, and I also work at KnowledgeTech. Okay, yeah. and I'm rondajusty.com, and I'm also at KnowledgeTech. Thanks.